It's a great day to be alive and be a Wildcat. My name is Trayvon Bryant. I'm a junior studying human development, family studies with a minor in psychology, and I got your Snapchat takeover for the day. Let's roll. I also play football here. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show y'all what it's like to be an athlete at the University of New Hampshire. Let's start off with breakfast. All right, I'm here at Stillings Dining Hall with some of the guys fueling up before we go to lift. We take nutrition very seriously. Man, it's a beautiful day out here. Goodness. Let me tell y'all a little bit about me while we walk into this field house. From St. Augustine, Florida, Sunshine State, baby. Yes, New Hampshire is way out of my element. I don't know how I'm dealing with the cold, but I'm dealing with it. All right, I'm here inside the locker room, getting ready to work out. A few of the guys already premeditating on how hard they're going to work today, you know. <laughs> so right now I'm just showing you guys some behind-the-scenes things. Later on when my day calms down, I'll sit down and talk to you a little bit more about why I'm here and what I do. All right, so we're going to head to the training room, warm up a little bit before we head upstairs. What's up, boys? How y'all feeling? Not this right here. So a typical day for me is to wake up at 5.15, leave the room by 5.45, and be here at the field house at 6.30 for workouts. But see, my Monday schedules are a little bit different, so I get a little sleep in time. All right, let's go. Back at it again after a good workout. Got to get those calories. So now I got the hard part of the day out of the way. I just got an email from my professor saying that class was canceled. So, so since class is canceled, I'll take a few minutes to tell y'all about my classes, reason why I'm in human development, family studies, and then I'll head to the academic center to actually do some homework. The reason why I chose human development, family studies is because I have a passion for the youth. And I really feel like I have the ability to be able to enter into their minds and help them develop to be the person that they want to be. A little personal information, you know, growing up in a single parent home, my mother did everything. I didn't have that stable male figure, you know, that I needed in my life growing up. So, uh, so most of the times I had to lean on to my high school coaches, older cousins, you know, that positive male figure is what I was looking for growing up. And because that was something that affected me in my life, you know, I felt like I was forced to grow up very quick. And uh, being successful as I am now, I feel like I have the ability to be able to help the ones who are going through the same. So human development, family studies is something that I'm very passionate about. Learning about the lifespan and the development of a human being is something that answers a lot of questions that I had growing up. So the class that I would have had today would have been one of my psychology courses known as Abnormal Behavior. I totally wish I could take y'all to class with me today, but unfortunately it was canceled. So as an athlete here, we have to use our time very wisely. And not very often do we get many chances to have more than two hours to do homework so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use this time to head to the academic center and get some homework done I got an exam tomorrow paper due tomorrow got a lot of work to do man but hold on hold up before we go there's something I gotta do to get ready to go do this homework so get ready Hot self over here. Girl. On the phone, doing me. Two, done. Two, three. What about us? Girl. I'm better go do my homework. My homework. My homework.
All right, so y'all seen what the academic center looked like. Told y'all a little bit about me. So I got somebody here that I'm going to introduce y'all to and let him tell you a little bit about himself. What's up, UNH? I'm Quinlan Dean from Greenbelt, Maryland. Uh, I'm a sophomore, also a hospitality major, and I'm also here to play football. All right, Q. So on the academic side of things, what interests you about hospitality? Me personally, I would like to work in the casinos after college, um, but I'm interested in hospitality because the hospitality industry offers so many job opportunities after college, such as working in casinos, clubs, restaurants, bars, everything. Now, Q, for my last and final question, what about you and H grabbed your attention? Why did you commit here? Uh, and besides football, I love the atmosphere, the culture, and I love my student body. <laughs> yeah, man, I agree with that. That's one thing that brought me here, man. It's such a big family here. Everybody gets along. It's good vibrations everywhere. I love it. And coming all the way from Florida all by myself, it was just really good to come up here and, you know, feel like I was a part of a family, feel like I was at home. And that reaches far beyond football, man. I'm talking about the staff that works in the dining halls, the staff that works in Hood House. You know, they're all just so helpful and just so loving. Hey man, sometimes you just gotta dance, man. Sometimes you gotta dance. They might think you weird, they might think you funny, but sometimes you just gotta dance. And that's what we do here at UNE. I mean, sometimes we be sitting in the dining hall and we hear some music come on next thing. Oh, we be like, hey, oh my god. Alright, man, I'm done dancing. I'm done dancing, but we're about to get ready to go to the library, finish some more work, man. We got tons of it. So I'll take y'all to the library pretty soon. But it's funny, though. You know, people always ask me, man, Trey, why you always so happy? Why you always dancing all the time? Like, why you always acting so weird? But they don't understand. For one, that's who I am. But most of all, man, it's because of the things that I've been through in the past. You know, it's hard not to be happy and not to celebrate because of the success that I have. Every single day that I wake up is a day that I can smile in the mirror and say that I made it a step farther. You could do the same thing, too. And for all you people who follow my personal Snapchat account, you know, my goofiness and the things that I talk about is not just for entertainment, but it's for the celebration. It's for the celebration of making it a step further, man. <laughs> I'm living the life that I love. I'm playing college football, getting a college degree, you know, experiencing life. So a quick message for me to you is, man, use your struggles as your fuel. Your fuel to do whatever it is that you want to do, that you're passionate about. You can do it. All right, we to go to the library. Come on. Hey, come on. Hey, come on, come on! Oh. Man, what a day. What a day, what a day. It's about that time to hang it up, man. I hope you all really enjoy hanging out with me today, seeing what it's like to be an athlete here at the University of New Hampshire. And again, my name is Trayvon Bryant. I play football here at the University of New Hampshire, number eight. Check out the spring game, May 1st. Stay tuned. Oh, yeah. Don't forget. Tell somebody you love them, you know? That's what we need in this world. Love is key. Love one another. Every day, all day. So, yeah, man, that's it. For you all that are watching, I hope you enjoy. If you ever see me around campus, just say, hey, what's up, high five, whatever it is. I love making new friends, but I got workouts in the morning. Time for me to turn the lights out. And like my man Bob Marley say, yeah, man, ease up. Me talk to you later, man.